I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At eight minutes past ten, time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a story of the West with Lorne Green as your host. Here's a preview. You don't know him like I do, Seth. You don't know how he is. What do you mean? I can't sleep knowing he's there next to me. I can't sleep knowing what a cold-blooded killer Hod Russell is. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Hello, I'm Stan Martin. It's sad that many youngsters feel the only way they can make their mark on our town is with a destructive act or a smear of graffiti. One building on New York's Lower East Side stands apart from the others. Its walls are spotless inside and out. The youngsters who work and play there have earned the respect of the entire city, just as they've learned to respect themselves. I'm talking about the Boys Brotherhood Republic. The BBR has been helping underprivileged boys work their way out of the slums for almost 50 years. By giving them the responsibility of governing and policing themselves, the BBR helps create a set of values which guide its members all their lives. I know because I was a member from the time I was six, and the BBR helped change my life. It's doing the same right now for hundreds of youngsters with no other place to turn but the streets. Help the BBR turn out solid citizens. Please send whatever financial support you can to the Boys Brotherhood Republic, 888 East 6th Street, New York, 10009. Thank you. Business as usual. I was leaning against a phone booth on the Lower East Side, waiting for a call that would guarantee my next meal. Little did I know my next job would arrive on foot. I'm Sam Hart. A few minutes later, some guy staggers up. Hey, mister, can you give me a hand? Feels like my chest is about to cave in. He was sweating, breathing heavily and clutching his chest. I reached for the phone. I knew I'd come face to face with a big one. Again? Yeah, let's see. Nine, one, one. Emergency medical service. Got a possible heart attack. I need an ambulance here on the double. Another day, another job. Another round with the big ones. Seems like they're trying to knock off every other guy I see. Do you know the signals of a heart attack? If not, remember this. Sweating, nausea, shortness of breath, a pain in the center of your chest that may last two minutes or more. If you have any of these signals, call the emergency medical service immediately. Contact your American Heart Association for more information. They're fighting for your life. This is Lauren Green. It's the summer of 1860. And for anyone taking the advice of Horace Greeley, there are only three ways to go west. On horseback, by wagon train, and as a passenger of the Overland Stage Company. The Overland ran from St. Joe, Missouri, across the Great Plains, sharing way stations with the Pony Express, then over the Rocky Mountains and across the desert to Sacramento, California. Mile after grueling mile the coaches ran, the most dangerous division stretching through the territory of Wyoming. 600 miles of lawless frontier infested with Indians, thieves, and renegades. And the destination of this stagecoach is a small town in the very heart of that untamed territory. Uh, toss down that bedroll, would you? Oh, thanks. I'm looking for Hod Russell. You know where I can find him? Saloon, I reckon. Saloon? Oh, thanks. And that's only the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater. A new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Incident at Red Butte, by Steve Sharon. Our stars, Vic Perrin and Lou Horn. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. When I need advice, I go to my mom. Why not? It's free. Now that I'm married and moving into a new house, I want all the advice I can get. So when mom says shop Sears, I listen. You should. 
Sears is a great help on those big items you'll need for your new home. Major appliances like washers, dryers, and refrigerators. They'll deliver, install, and service. I always depend on Sears. You should, too. Sears, 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 where America shops. They wear them in Alaska, in Texas, in Maine. Wherever the territory's tough, the kids wear Sears tough skins. The toughest jeans in Sears tough jeans territory. Fashioned from a permapress tri-blend fabric so tough, kids can actually jump on trampolines made from it. Sears tough skins in boys and girls sizes. Now in latest spring colors, styles, patterns. Brushed finish, too. You have tough kids, Sears has tough skins. Only in the children's store at most larger Sears retail stores and through the catalog. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radial Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. stranger has just stepped off the overland stage in a small town in Wyoming territory. He's a young man, about 20 years old, looking for someone named Hard Russell, who at this very moment can be found playing poker in the Lucky Lady Saloon. How many cards, Hard? Uh, two. Dealer stands pat. I'm out. Me too. Hmm. Just two of us, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll kick it five. Now, don't let him bluff you hard. <laughs> Luke knows better. I'll call. What you got? Cases and king. <laughs> Three ladies. Oh, my, no. <laughs> hey, bar dog, bring me another bottle. <laughs> hard Russell? Uh, yeah, what do you want, kid? The name's Seth Ward. Ben Holliday sent me. He said you'd give me a job. Oh, he did, did he? Well, Holliday may own the Overland Stage Company, but I run it. Nobody tells me who to hire. Uh, I got a letter here from Mr. Holliday. Let me see that. This will enter... <laughs> so you're his nephew, huh? Yeah. And he wants you to learn how to run a stage line. Yeah, that's the idea. I ain't got room for no green kid. Well, uh, Mr. Russell, I, I rode Pony Express for three months uh, on Jack Roberts' division out of St. Joe. Now, riding the easiest pony run there is don't prove nothing to me. I can handle any job you've got. <laughs> I doubt that. But holiday's the big sugar, so there ain't much I can do but take you on. Oh, Thanks. You, you won't regret it. Look, kid, let's get something square. I don't need you, I don't like you, and I don't want you. Right now, I'm looking for a dog to kick, and you're it. Where are we headed? Red Butte. That's the home station. Hod runs a whole division from there. Make sure all of other... Hey, kid. How you like that horse Luke cut out for you? Oh, he'll do just fine. <laughs> I figured you'd like him. <laughs> Old Jughead's about as ornery as a rocking chair. <laughs> Don't you mind, Hod. He's just funning you. Yeah. Just be thankful your uncle sent you to Hod Russell. Yeah, why's that? Well... Before Hod took over this was the worst division on Overland Run. Full of engines, outlaws, and horse thieves. Why, even some of the station masters were crooks themselves. Running off the stock, robbing the coaches. And he changed all that? Yep. Hod got everything running right smooth. Made this the best run division in Overland, and believe me, that took some doing. Others tried and failed. I know. I was a division boss before Hod took over. Hi, 
Goldie, boss. What's a stage from South Pass still doing here? Came in a little while ago. <sighs> Late again. Where's the driver? Down by the well. Look. Go tell that silk popper if he brings the stage in late again, it'll be his last. Right, boss. Come on, kid. All right. Now, now, don't worry, folks. We'll get you back on schedule. Jenny, you make sure these people get enough grub. They got plenty. You got them horses changed, Irish? Heats and ready to go. Good. Give me some of that stew, Jenny. Irish, uh, Mike's my name, laddie. I hear we're going to be working together. Yeah. Uh, Luke tells me you rode Pony Express. That's right. For three months. Uh, my heart goes out to you, boy <laughs> Living in a saddle all day to gallop ain't my idea of living. It weren't mine either. That's why I'm trying to learn the stage business. My uncle's sent... Oh... Better eat your stew, ma'am. You don't want to travel on the empty stomach. Say, Irish, who's the girl talking to that lady? Well, that's Jenny. Oh, she's right pretty. I uh, wouldn't be letting me eyes rove in that Colleen's direction, laddie. She belongs to Hard. Oh. Well, how long they've been married? Married? <laughs> Preacher hardly had a say in the matter. <laughs> Hard liked what he saw and took it. If, uh... You get what I mean. All right, folks. Stage is leaving. Everybody out. Oh, oh that's Hey, uh, mister. Did you hear what he said? You missed the stage. Oh, I'm not a passenger. Uh, no, uh, the kid ain't a passenger. He's working for me now. Oh. I'm uh, Seth Ward. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. Ma'am? <laughs> Say, uh, you're right polite. Uh, ain't nobody around here call me that for <laughs> I don't know how long. Well, don't get too used to it. I got a feeling he ain't going to be working here too long. Oh, oh, well, sorry to hear that. As for you, Jenny, that stew was cold. I want them passengers getting a hot meal no matter what time the stage comes in. Yes, Hod. The passengers come first on my division. Hey, Hod, we got trouble. Express rider just rode in and we ain't got a relief to take the mail to Three Crossing. Well, what do you mean? Where, 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 where's Clem? Found him out back. He got bottle fever. Why, that... When he sobers up, he can go about looking for another job. Oh, where well, are we going to get another pony rider? I'll go. Ah, this ain't the St. Joe run. I can handle it. It's 116 miles to three crossings, and that country's full of nothing but trouble. You got another rider willing to go? He's right, boss. You got no choice. Yeah. All right, kid. Job's yours. Come on, Seth. I got a horse saddled and waiting. Do you think he'll make it? Hard? Hardly. I reckon we've seen the last of that kid. Hard, uh, there's a rider coming in and... Oh, and it looks like Seth. The kid? But I think you're right. Oh, thanks. You're overdue, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. The Pony Express depends on its riders being on time. We ain't got no use for nobody. I went to, I went on to Rocky Ridge. The but, station at Three Crossings burned out. It was? Renegade Cheyenne. Those bloody devils. But if you rode all the way to Rocky Ridge and back... That's over 380 miles. Well, I had to. No relief, Ryder. Well, my hat's off to you, laddie. Mine, too. Kid, you just earned yourself a job on the Overland. Clinging jerseys, tight satin tops, they only look good if they hug your body smoothly. Sears Best Abra Light helps you and your clothes look good. How? 
All Bra Light has no seam cups and straps adjust in the back so you look great up front. Whatever you do, whether it's dashing around town or simmering with disco fever in that slinky dress, it's flattering fun with the Sears All Bra Light. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Generations ago, families dined by the warmth of the open hearth. Today, Sears rekindles this spirit with its open hearth dining room furniture. Faithfully rendered early American designs and careful workmanship give it an heirloom quality. The satin glow and warm highlighting of Sears open hearth take 26 steps to achieve. There's no shorter method to bring out the beauty of the wood. And like all good furniture, open hearth is made to last for a long time with sturdy tongue and groove and mortise and tenon construction. Choose from 16 different pieces of open hearth at most Sears retail stores. Pink lemonade, warm breezes, and you sitting on your porch wearing a sundress from Sears. Delightful. Even more delightful, these sundresses are a Sears special purchase. So though not reduced, they're an exceptional value. And they're 100% cotton in flounces, tears, smock designs, and more. All sweet and dainty. Misses or junior sizes. Stroll down to Sears now for your special purchase sundress while quantities last. And enjoy this good old summertime. At most larger Sears retail stores. Young Seth Ward volunteered to make a long and difficult ride that no one thought he'd ever come back from. But when he did return, Seth had earned himself a job with the Overland Stage Company, and with it, the respect of his boss, Hod Russell. Give me a bottle of whiskey. I'll buy. This here is a right special occasion. Well, thanks, Luke. You've been working on Overland a month longer than anybody thought you would be. <laughs> you reckon it's worth it? Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah, it's worth it. You, you were right. This is the best division on the Overland. You just do like Hod says, and you'll learn the right way to run a line. <laughs> With him, nothing's more important than the Overland. Yeah, he gets things done all right. Everybody seems to have a pretty healthy respect for him. Well, I don't know if I'd call it respect exactly. More like... Speaking uh, of hard, I, I thought he was going to have a drink with us. We had to check on some supplies for the new station. Mm, sure didn't take him long to rebuild. Well, sounds like a couple of the boys are having themselves a real fiesta out there. <laughs> hey! Hey, fellas! Hot Russell's just been shot! Huh? He'll live. He'll live, that is, if I can keep him from opening up those holes and bleeding to death. Kid. Kid, come here. No, you just take it easy, Russell. Lie back down there. Y yeah, huh? Where... Where's Luke? Uh, he rode back to Red Butte to get Jenny. Oh. We'd figured you'd want to see her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jenny. Thanks, kid. Oh, no, I, I sure am sorry about what happened. Oh, weren't your fault. Just, just my being careless is all. <coughs> did anybody see who did it? Uh, yeah, they said it was a, a fella named Zach Bodine. Bodine. Oh, I should have run that back shooting gunny out of the territory when I had the chance. Tell you one thing. He's gonna be sorry he didn't finish me off proper like. Hard, how are you? How are you feeling? Well, got a few more winders in my hide, but I ain't done yet. Where's Jenny? Uh, Jenny, uh, well, uh, she ain't exactly with me, Hard. She ain't? Why not? <clears throat> when I, uh, when I got back to the station, Jenny weren't there. Weren't there? One of the pony riders come through and told her you was shot. Iris says Jenny got on the next stage west. Oh, Jenny. Right sorry, Hod. <coughs> what are you, wait, what are you doing? I... I gotta get up. Now, Hod, you get back in that bed. I can't let Jenny go. 
I got to go after her. You ain't got to do nothing but stay in bed. Uh, you move and, well, you, you'll just be killing yourself. Hard. Oh, now, you better do what the doc says. Luke. Luke. You got to stop Jenny for me. You got to bring her back. Well, sure, Hod. Anything you say, but uh, just take it easy. You and the kid, you bring her back for me. You hear? You bring her back. Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. Chills run up and down your spine. There's a creeping sensation at the back of your neck. You're listening to CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for these hour-long dramas of suspense, adventure, and the macabre. Heard seven times a week on most of these stations. Here's a sample of what we mean. Hush, hush, my darlings. Your mother is taking care of all of you. You have nothing to fear. Let those who move against us learn to cower in terror. As long as the moon is full, we rule the nights. Ours is the power and the glory. You will inherit the world. And I am your queen in whatever guise I choose to cloak myself. Listen here for CBS Radio Mystery Theater seven times a week on most of these CBS Radio Network stations. Who are those people in the uniforms over there? Oh, that's the Salvation Army. Oh, sure. I've heard of the Salvation Army before. Everybody knows them. Yeah, they're noted for helping people. You know, my father once told me that the Salvation Army operated service units during World War II for our armed forces. He never forgot them for that. They were really helpful. I wonder if they help people in other ways. I'm sure they do. Let's ask them. Excuse me, sir. What are some of the services available at the Salvation Army? Well, throughout America, the Salvation Army operates daycare centers, adult rehabilitation centers for alcoholics, summer camps for kids, even senior citizen clubs and programs. Oh, the list goes on and on. Well, thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate it. The pleasure's mine. Have a nice day. Gee, I had no idea the Salvation Army provided all those services for people. The Salvation Army cares about you. If you need help with a problem or can help, call your local Salvation Army today. If, if, if this is a holdup, you, you you boys are just plumb plumb out of luck. I ain't carrying no express box. Don't be so skittery, Charlie. It's only me. Yeah. Luke! That consound your time. What are you trying to do, Luke Cavey? Give me palpitations? No, hard Santis. You got something that belongs to him. Do, 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 I, I, I do? Seth, check inside. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing in there but a banker, a, a, a whiskey drummer, and, and, and two women folk. Seth? <clears throat> What are you doing? Uh, 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 let go of me. Uh, uh. Look, what in Sam hell's going on? Just you wait until Hod finds out. He knows all about it. She got any gear? Uh, 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 ain't nothing but just this carpet bag. Well, toss it down. Uh. All right, Charlie, get going. We'll take care of the lady. But I, I can't just drive You off heard me. Get going. Get up. Wait! Don't leave me here! Come on, Jenny, you can ride double with me. No! Suit yourself, but it's a long walk back to Red Butte. Wait! I'll, uh... I'll ride. Not with you. With Seth. <laughs> Take me back to Hod. Please, don't take me back. I've got to. Why? Why can't you just let me go? Hod wants you back. Although why he wants someone like you, I'll never know. What do you mean by that? 
Any woman that'd run off and leave her husband after he almost got killed is the lowest kind of woman there is. And if I was hard, well, I wouldn't have anything to do with someone like that. Ain't you forgetting something? Hard ain't my husband. You're still his woman. Not because I want to be. I had no choice. I went away with Hard because I didn't want to spend the rest of my life working on a farm and taking care of four brothers. What's so bad about farming? Look at me, Seth. How old do you think I am? I don't know. 26, 27, maybe? I'm 20. Same as you. That's what farming does to a woman. It makes her old. Anyway, when Hog came along, I wanted a better life. So? He gave it to you. And you ran away first chance you got. I don't love him. Well, Hod loves you, or he wouldn't have sent me and Luke to fetch you back. I could never love a man like Hod. Well, he seems like a fair man to me. I've never seen him lay a hand on you. He hasn't. Yet. You don't know him like I do, Seth. You don't know how he is. What do you mean? Sometimes I lie awake all night. I can't sleep knowing he's there next to me. I can't sleep knowing what a cold-blooded killer Hod Russell is. Oh. Just because he's had to kill a few outlaws doesn't mean It's he... the way Hod does it. Like, like he gets some kind of pleasure from it. I can't live with a man like that. You gotta let me go. Well, how do I know you're telling the truth? I wouldn't say it if it weren't so. I swear! Yeah. Well, maybe you would. If you wanted to get away bad enough. Then... Then you don't believe me. No. I thought you were different from the others, but you're not. Well, you just better hope I'm wrong. You better hope you never find out what Hod Russell is really like. Having survived ambush by a gang of outlaws, Hod Russell is returning to Red Butte. Waiting for him are his men and a woman who tried to run away from him and failed. Sure, good to have you back, boss. Yeah. How, how you feeling, Hod? Mm, a lot better now that I'm away from that damn pill ruler. <laughs> I should have known Doc wouldn't be able to hold you long. <laughs> if I'd been there one more day... Jenny. Hello, Hod. Uh, all right. Don't you boys got some work to do? Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, kid. Let's give Irish a hand in the stables. Jenny? Why? Why'd you run away? You know why, Hod. I told you before, I don't want to stay here anymore. And you know what the Overland means to me. I can't leave. It's got nothing to do with the Overland. I don't want to stay here with you. But I love you, Jenny. We've been over this before. You can't expect any love out of me. After all I've done for you... I'm grateful. But that doesn't change the way you are. And it doesn't change the way I feel. Give it time. No, Hod. You'll come around. I won't. Let me go, Hod. Please. You're staying right here, Jenny. Right here with me. I won't stay. Do you hear me? You can't run me like you run everybody else. I'll get away from you if it's the last thing I ever do. Jenny staying? Of course she stayed. Why wouldn't she? Well, then it's all settled between you and the last, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's settled. Damn she males. More trouble than they're worth. That ain't the only trouble you got. Four of our stage horses is missing. Horse thieves? Must have happened last night. I figure there's only two of them. I found six sets of tracks heading north. Saddle my horse, kid. 
Are you sure you're up to it? Maybe you better stay here. Yes, yeah, Seth and me can go after him. Mm-hmm. I'm going with you. Irish, you stay here and keep an eye on Jenny. <laughs> some of that coffee, too. Why? Well, I wouldn't go for them guns just now. Get your hands up. Luke, relieve them of their artillery. Right. We didn't do nothing. Yeah. Well, the brands on them animals say other ways. Well, we just found them. I, I swear, we, we thought they're strays. Kid, you and Luke drive them horses back to Red Butte. I'll take care of these two. Well, uh, Hod, maybe we'd better stay and give you a hand. I'll be along shortly. I'm just going to explain to them the error of their ways. Luke? Yep. Um, you don't think Hod would shoot these two horse thieves without a fair trial? No. He ain't going to shoot them. Not if I know Hod. <laughs> these horses. Sure, boss. Wait a minute. Don't don't these belong to... Where, where are the horse thieves? <laughs> well, right now, I'd say them two are looking through cottonwood leaves. What? I hanged the varmints. You can't do that. You are forgetting who runs this division. But they had a fair trial coming. Look, kid... I didn't have the time to take those two into town just so the sheriff could hang them. Out here, I'm the law. The way I figure it, the Overland is richer by two more horses and two less horse thieves than it was before. Jenny, get me some of that grub. I'm feeling wolfish. You, uh, want any, Seth? No. I lost my appetite. You. What are you staring at, dude? I, I, I assure you I did not mean to stare, Mr. Russell. It's just that I... Hard, uh, this is Mr. Samuel Clemens. He's a newspaper writer. Yeah? Well, don't be starting up no newspapers around here. Folks don't cotton to them that stirs up trouble. Fortunately... Those are not my intentions, sir. At present, I am on my way to the Comstock country. But I must say that good fortune seems to have granted my fondest wish since the journey began. Oh, and what is that? Why, to meet you, sir. Why, since I left St. Joe, I've heard many a tale of the countless deeds of Hod Russell. Uh, Here is romance. And here I sit face to face with the brave man who's reportedly taken the lives of 50 outlaws. Well, I am honored, sir. I thank you. Uh, what'd you say your name was again? Samuel Clemens, at your service. And you say people's talking about me all the way back to St. Joe? Talking about you? <laughs> Why, sir, you are a legend. A model for every young lad heading west. The ruthless master of the overland stage, dealing with brigands and outlaws, keeping the westward passage open. Yeah. Yes, sir, that's me. Of course, I, I ain't saying I killed 15 men. That that uh, sounds a mite high. Whatever the number is, you can add two more. Oh, what? Indeed. Two more dead. Horse thieves. Why, if, if only I had been there, my readers would want to know about this adventure. Uh, tell me exactly what happened. For your paper? Why, well, of course, sir. This sounds like a deed of, of uncommon heroism. Well, it was like this. You're awful He's quiet. Something bothering you? No. No, it's nothing. You wouldn't uh, be thinking about those two horse thieves hard hang today, would you? Yeah, I might be. I told you. He's a killer. Hod said they'd have 
They'd have been hanged even if he hadn't taken them to town. Maybe. But it ain't up to him to do the job. Might be a man has to bend the law a little sometimes if he's going to keep... The only law Hard knows is his own. Well, he's got the best-run division on the Overland. You can't deny that. So? Well, so that newspaper fella says everybody's heard about Hard, all the way back to St. Joe. That doesn't mean they've heard the truth. He's a legend. Even if I... If I do think he was wrong, I reckon Hard knows what he's doing. Who are you trying to convince? Me? Or you? Nearly everyone at our party mentioned our new Sears Dream Supreme carpeting. Didn't anyone say anything about my rutabaga dip? Marvin said Dream Supreme looks so thick and luxurious. He loved its velvety soft plush pile. What about my rutabaga dip? Eloise adored the color. Of my rutabaga dip. I told her that avocado lime is just one of Dream Supreme's 20 lustrous colors. And when Doris heard the Dream Supreme is so reasonably priced and treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector. Okay, what about my tuna fish upside down cake? Dream Supreme carpeting in most larger Sears retail stores. The word's out and spreading fast about the jeans from Sears Men's Store that grow old beautifully. It's a sure sign they're feeling fine and feeling good. For the denim that keeps going strong a long time. Get them trim cut, regular cut, even get them pre-washed. The jeans that grow old beautifully. Now at most Sears retail stores. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radial Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. again, and here's the concluding act of Incident at Red Butte. Hard! This fella's got a wagon load of hay he wants to sell the Overland. A load of hay, is it? Morning. Yeah. What's your name? Walker. How much hay you got here? Close to a ton. Yeah, easy a ton, and my price is... Uh, give me that pitchfork, Irish. Pitchfork. Hey, now, what, what do you want with a pitchfork? Here you are, Hard. <laughs> yeah, just like I thought. The fellow's a damn swindler. Well, now, uh, inside of this stack ain't nothing but brush piled up to make it look like he's got more hay than there really is. Well, but now, I... Seth, get some rope. You, you, you ain't, you ain't gonna hang him. Irish... You and Luke tie up his hands and feet and toss him up on that haste. Well, here now, what you fixing to do? No! Oh, Spiller, I'll bust you one. What are you going to do? You'll see. Just get him up there. Up there. Up there. Luke, give me a match. Thanks. Hey, watch it. You go, you're going to start a fire. <laughs> Let it be, kid. That's the whole idea. Oh, but you... Back off. My God, what you doing? Yes, yeah, stop. Please put it out, somebody. No, no, Spread no, no. the word, Walker. Scream your lungs no, out. No. You can't cheat the Overland on hot Russell's to yeah. be Luke, yeah. Irish, aren't you going to stop him? It's yeah. hard to play. Stay out of it, Seth. Yeah. Help us, Seth, get off that wagon, kid. Leave him up there. Oh. You all right? Oh, I think so. Oh, thank you, young I fella. told you to leave him up there. Hi, you can't kill a man because he tried to cheat you. I can't. Don't you forget that, kid. I'm letting you get away with it this time, but if you ever pull a stunt like that again, you and me is going to tangle. I told you what hard wrestle was really like, but you wouldn't believe me. I never seen anything like that in my whole life. He was going to cook that man like a like a piece of beefsteak. He would have if you hadn't stopped him. When I think of some of the things Hod's done to people that got in his way, 
I'm, I'm truly sorry, Jenny. I'm sorry I didn't believe you right from the start. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. But if Hod keeps on like this, he's going to run the Overland out of business. Folks will be so scared of meeting up with him, they won't want to ride the stage anymore. But you said it yourself. Hod's a legend. Everything he does gets twisted around to make him sound like some kind of hero. I'm going to write my Uncle Ben about everything that's happened. He'll want to know the truth. And then we'll find out just what the Overland thinks about the way Hod Russell runs his division. Hey, Irish, where's the mail pouch to St. Joe? I've got it right here, Lanny. All ready for the pony. Uh, put this letter in there for me, will you? It's got to go out in the next mail. Good as done. Oh, Irish, you know where Hod is? Inside, eh? Talking to some settler. Thanks. And that's how we got separated from the other wagons. Now, if I was by myself, I... Well, I, I'd just go on alone, but... You see, I got my wife and baby to think of, and I'd sure be obliged if you could lend me a couple of your boys to... Well, just ride along with us till we catch up with the wagon train. Oh, this ain't no fort... And we ain't the cavalry. Besides, I can't spare the men. Well, well, what are we going to do? If you want to go west that bad, then you'd best buy a ticket on the stage. Because that country's full of renegade Cheyenne that'd just love to raise the hair off some stray soddy like you. The stage? I, I can't do that. I reckon we'll just, just have to take our chances. Hod, listen to that baby. How can you let them go not knowing what might happen? It ain't my concern. Well, can't you send Irish or, or Luke or somebody with them until they find the others? You heard me. I said no. Now, let it be. Ah, oh, there's a pony coming in. Uh, get the mail pouch from Irish. Ho, oh, oh, ho, ho there. Hey, tell Hard that back shooting Bodines in Sweetwater. Come on, ho, oh, come on there. Run. Hey, boss. I heard. Get me two horses, Luke. Come on, kid. You and me are going after the snake that backshot me. No, not me, Hart. I'm going to ride along with the settler and his wife. Make sure they catch up with their wagon train. Now, this ain't no time for jokes, kid. Now, come on, before Bodine gets away. I mean it, Hart. I'm going with him. Getting Bodine's a hell of a lot more important than wet nurse and some sodbuster. Not to me. I wish you luck with Bodine. You do, huh? Then just don't be here when I get back. There's your wagon train down there near the river. Think you can make it the rest of the way? Sure can, mister. We're sure obliged to you for your help. Uh, you, you going back there? Yeah, I got to. Well, I'm sure sorry if I... Put you between a rock and a hard place. Weren't your fault. Goodbye. Good luck. Jenny? Jenny? Seth? Are you crazy? Why'd you come back? To get you. I can't wait for my uncle to do something about it hard. I'm taking you away from here. Oh, Seth... I was wrong about you, and I'm glad. <laughs> but you know, uh, if that's what you want, uh, we better get moving before a hod comes back. No. No, we'll wait. That doesn't make sense. Why should we wait? We've got to. Otherwise, he'll just come after us. If, if I can reason with him... Reason with him? Don't you understand? He's gonna kill you. He'll kill both of us if he catches us. Oh, Seth, that's him. He's back. Uh, just, just stay here. No, Seth, no. No, you, you, you can't go out. Hello, Hog. Still here, huh? That's right. Did you get Bodine? That's him. Lying across that horse. 
Is he dead? He will be soon. After I finish with Bodine, I'm going to take care of you. I've written my uncle, telling him some of the things you've done. The hangings, what you did to Walker. Why, you sneaking little... I got the best division on the Overland. No. It's the most feared division. It can't be like that. Not with more and more people pushing west. Not with the law coming to the territory. I am the law. Once, maybe. But not anymore. We'll see about that. All right, I'm taking Jenny out of here. No, you ain't. You got a gun. Uh, I don't want to fight you. Fill your hand when I count to three. Now, Hog, just listen to me. One. No. Two. Hard? But but I didn't draw. I shot him. Jenny? He would have killed you, Seth. Things would have gone on just like before. Just like before. And I had to get away. That's why I... <laughs> I, I had to get away. <laughs> He's dead, honey. The Overland's just lost a good man. Maybe he was a good man once when he wasn't taking the law into his own hands. No. They lost Hard Russell a long time ago. now possible with Sears new home control system. Get a feeling of added security thanks to the convenient command console that controls up to 16 lights, lamps, or appliances from one location. This $39.99 console sends coded signals to lamp, wall switch, or appliance modules available at $13.99 or $14.99 each. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Welcome summer with open arms in a sleeveless knit shirt from Sears. Tailored as can be, with a pert little collar and pocket, but bare, 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 because each shirt's completely sleeveless. Cool on the go and great for carefree sunning. Choose several in colorful solids and prints of Easy Care polyester and cotton knit. You'll find summer goes arm in arm with sleeveless shirts in misses and women's sizes in the sportswear department at Sears. Sears wants to break the ice when it comes to buying a Kenmore refrigerator. So we're taking $50 to $100 off three models through June 30th. You save $100 on the 19 cubic foot side-by-side -side and $70 on the 17 cubic foot top freezer refrigerator. Both have automatic ice makers and Sears exclusive humid drawer. Save $50 on a Kenmore 17 cubic foot refrigerator freezer without ice maker. All are frostless. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guarantee or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Incident at Red Butte was written by Steve Sharon, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Lorne Green. Our stars were Vic Perrin and Lou Horn. Featured in the cast were Joan McCall, Howard Culver, Tyler McVeigh, Carly Bear, and Barney Phillips. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.